Hello everyone, good morning. This is Rudy from uh, Alien Technology. In the webinar today, we will cover the topics including the Draytech routers WAN option, multi-WAN topics, WAN page configuration, series of routers tested on NBN network, and then in the last topic, we will discuss the configuration examples for Dodo NBN with figure 2925, WAN budget, and the last, uh, the, the new feature, wireless the WAN. Let's start with the overview on WAN options. Greater routers provide various WAN technologies which are suitable to different applications and users group. In the next few slides, I will introduce the WAN technology available on Draytech routers. The variety of Draytech WAN options, including XDSL, Ethernet, USB, LTE, Fiber, and Wireless WAN. The first one, let's discuss about the XDSS WAN, which is suitable for premises with existing copper wires and connection to internet, which is can be uh, ADSL2, 2 plus, or VDSL2. One of the examples for deployment with DSL in the last mile is FTTB, which is uh, fiber to the building, or FTTN, fiber to the node, and utilize uh, copper wires on VDSL technology to end users. Another common WAN application is the Ethernet WAN, where user can connect the router to internet switch, cable modem, or existing DSL modem. In the NBN fiber to the home, or FTTH, greater router can connect via Ethernet WAN to NTU, which is provided by the ISP, the internet service provider. Greater routers also have flexibility to support 3G and 4G connection with the external USB dongle, and the list of supported dongles on Draytech products is available on this link, which is uh, on the Draytech website. The other one, the LTE WAN router, support WAN LTE connection with its embedded 4G LTE modem, so users just need to prepare the SIM card and plug into the routers. On the fiber WAN, Router like Vigor 3900 supports in the fiber connection with SFP, which is small form factor pluggable uh, modules and connects with the gigabit ethernet fiber optic cable. And the last one, the new feature, which is still under testing stage in Draytag, the wireless WAN or Wi-Fi WAN allows user to connect the router with any Wi-Fi hotspot or Wi-Fi tethering for mobile phone. This function is useful during emergency when all wired connections are dropped and no 4G USB dongle is available. Please also refer to the list of Draytech Vega routers for the WAN comparison and combination on this link. In this part, we will discuss uh, the multi-WAN functions overview in Draytech routers. What multi can uh, what can multi WAN do? First one is a load balance. This function is useful for small to medium sized business users that have multiple WAN accesses and ways to distribute the traffic on those accesses. There are two modes in this load balance function, which is uh, auto weight, where is uh, router decides the WAN speed automatically, and the other one is according to line speed, where user predefined predefined or set the limit of the WAN connection speed manually. The second one is the failover. When any of the WAN connection to the internet is disconnected or lost, the backup function, it will switch over, uh, it will be activated and take over the internet connection and provide a reliable connection to the uh, CPE. This feature is necessary to provide reliable connection for business application that can't toler tolerate internet drop. In the configuration, you can select which one to backup or backup only if all when are disconnected, which is you can see on the web page. The next one, the multi when multi service. This is the typical usage uh, in the multi when for uh, 
for for customers in which multi WAN is to assign different WAN connection for different services. For example, internet or data with VDSL2 on WAN1, VOIP, the voice over IP on Ethernet WAN, then WAN3, USB as 3G and 4G backup. For the next page. Yep. In this section, uh, let's have an overview on the WAN configuration on Dratec routers. It, it covers the general setup, internet access, multi VLAN, and WAN budget. Let's start with the first one the general setup. The general setup page shows the overview of the available WANs, including load balance, physical type, link speed, and the active mode, whether it is backup or always on. In the internet access page, we can configure the access mode of each WAN access like PPPoE, static IP, or DHCP mode. For the 3G, 4G connection, the connection mode is either PPP or DHCP is also configurable in this page. On the next page, the multi VLAN. In this space, it allows user to set up the multi VLAN on WAN interface and map physical LAN port in bridge mode to a specific VLAN. The VLAN on WAN usage is generally for the multi service application on single WAN interface, for example, for the triple play. VDSL2 or broadband net network for the NBN, for example, will take different VLAN ID for services like data, internet, voice, or IVTV. The details of VLAN uses will be introduced in a separate webinar session. On the next page, uh, the WAN budget function. The WAN budget function allows users to set the quota limit for internet access on specific WAN interface. This will be discussed further in the example section later of, of the, in this webinar. Let's move to the next page. Um, the Draytech NBN Ready Routers. The National Broadband Network, NBN, that rolled out by the government, delivers high-speed internet with fiber optics deployment to replace the aging copper network. Draytech provides series of routers with high throughput and compatible with NBN, no matter it is Ethernet-based for FTTH or VDSL2 for FTTB, FTTN. In this page, these are the routers so far tested on NBN setup, and the list will be updated from time to time. When user upgraded the network to NBN, it is easy to configure the NADRATEC routers to connect to the network. As an overview, the internet service provider using various configuration on the NBN, such as adding VLAN tag to differentiate service like data or voice, MAC address binding to lock device connected to the network, PPPPoE, username password, or DHCP mode, where users just need to connect the device then automatically obtain the IP. There is also application notes uh, for Dratec users or customers, uh, which is allowed this, which is showing the configuration for different ISP and available on the link uh, shown on this page. Okay. In this section, I will discuss about the configuration example of the usage of WAN connectivity. And let's start on NBN. There is a video in which uh, we will show you how to configure Vigo 2925 for Dodo NBN service. And for your information, this video is also available on YouTube under this link. Hello everyone. As most of you are now aware, the National Broadband Network, otherwise known as NBN, is currently being rolled out in Australia. Dodo is one of the internet service providers that do provide NBN connections and usually a broadband router is required. In this video we will describe the process required to configure one of Dratec's broadband routers, the Vigor 2925, 
so that we can connect it to the Dodo MBN service. The first step is to log into the router. Once you have logged in, you will need to go to the WAN General Setup Configuration menu. Now select WAN 1. Select Enable to be Yes to activate this profile. Now we need to modify the VLAN settings. Dodo, as well as some other service providers, do require VLANs to be enabled. Dodo requires data packets to be tagged with a VLAN ID of 100. So in the VLAN Tag Insertion menu option, we first select Enable and then we enter the VLAN Tag value of 100. Other settings can be left at the default values. Click OK to save. After the router restarts, we need to configure the Internet Access settings. To do this, we go to the WAN Internet Access Configuration menu. For WAN 1, we select PPPoE for Access Mode. Now click on Details page. Here we enter the username and password supplied to us by Dodo. The rest of the settings can be left at the defaults. Click OK to save. The router will restart and establish a connection to the NBN. We can now check that the router has connected successfully to the NBN. Once we have logged into the router again, go to Online Status, Physical Connection menu. You should see WAN status is now up and it has a valid IP address. We can now test the connection by going to some websites. We can go to the speed test website to check the speed of our internet connection. I am now going to try going to drating.com.au. Our connection is now working. So this completes our setup. It is worth noting that Draytech has a range of browsers that are NBN ready, which can also be used with Dodo. Okay, so let's take a look at another example of a configuration allows when usage uh, for the when usage the when budget which is allows the user to limit the when access quota and take action accordingly when usage reaching the limit before starting with the configuration we need to make sure a few settings are pre-configured like the router's time and date setting is correct since when budget will refer to the time information and then set the billing cycle regarding the next one hardware acceleration feature this is only available for some routers for example figure 2925 series it is important to disable this function otherwise the router cpu will not able to calculate the traffic accurately and the last point is on the mail alert configuration this allows users this allows router to send an alert mail when the quota may limit is reached. In this space, we show you how to disable the hardware acceleration function. On Vega 2925, for example, navigate on the left tab to the hardware acceleration, then setup, click on the mode, and then select disable. Next, let's configure the mail alert setting. On the left tab, go to Applications and select SML Mail Alert Service. Then click the Mail Alert tab on the right page. As you can see, we need to configure the mail service, set the recipient and notify profile. Let's first configure the mail service by clicking on the link. In this page, select the index, for example, index 1. This profile is used for router to send the email through the SMTP server or the main server. In this profile, we set the profile name and mail settings like SMTP server, port, username, password, etc. Click OK to save the configuration once finished. Then on the SMS mail alert service, we specify the recipient mail address. And then next is to configure the notify profile. In the Notify Profile page, select the index, for example, index 1. 
then select, then set the profile name and enable the checkbox on the WAN budget for limit reach. In the mail sent out by router, it will refer to this profile for the content. Once the mail service recipient and notify profile configured, we are now finished the mail setting, uh, mail alert settings. Now let's go on the WAN tab, then select WAN budget. On the right page, select the WAN interface we wish to set the quota limit. Let's take an example on WAN 1. Inside the WAN budget page, click the enable checkbox. The billing cycle has two modes, monthly or user divine. On the monthly, router will reset the billing cycle calculation on the specific date and time each month. In our example, we will use the user defined. First, set the quota limit for the internet usage. For information, the quota limit is for downstream traffic and in unit of bytes, either megabytes or gigabytes. In our example, we set 10 megabytes and send mail alert to administrator or the recipient in the mail alert setting once the internet use is reaching the quota limit. In the billing cycle, we set one day, which means the accumulative quota will be reset in every 24 hours. Once pressing the OK button, the new quota limit will be valid and previous cumulative quota will be reset. On the WAN budget main page, it is shown that when one has 10 megabyte quota current, uh, quota current usage is zero megabyte. The action is sending mail alert based on the user defined and billing cycle is one day. And then let's go to the multiple page. This page will show you in real time the current internet uses of WEN1. In this test, I'm browsing the Wooderitech web page and download a firmware in which the size exceeding 10 megabytes. Click on the refresh button to get the status immediately. Once the accumulated downstream traffic list is the limit, you will see this icon on the monitor page and router will send an alert mail to the administrator. This is the mail received by administrator and its contents showing that when one budget limit is exceeding the predefined 10 megabytes. Let's move to the next example. I will show you the new feature developed by the Draytech, the Wi-Fi WAN function. Let me introduce the Wi-Fi WAN. The Wi-Fi WAN enables the routers to use the 2.4 gigahertz wireless for WAN access. It means this feature only available to device with N function or which one that has the wireless function. Wi-Fi WAN can connect with the 4G Wi-Fi modem, smartphone Wi-Fi tethering, or Wi-Fi hotspot. It is very useful for emergency backup where the wired WAN connection is dropped and no 3G or 4G dongle available. The Wi-Fi WAN works as one of the WAN options, so it also can do load balance and backup. Since user can select WAN2 for Wi-Fi WAN or Ethernet, so it would only backup for other WAN than WAN2. Currently, Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi WAN is under testing page and in beta version. The first product to support this feature is Vigo 2860 series. The target of delivery is the end of the year. Let's start the configuration. First, navigate on the left bar for WAN tab, and then general setup, and then select WAN tool from the table on the right hand. In the WAN tool configuration page, key in the display name and change the physical mode from Ethernet to wireless 2.4 gigahertz. For, for information, although on dual band wireless device has five gigahertz, Currently, this function only supports 2.4 gigahertz on the wireless WAN. And then once the configuration is done, press OK. From the dashboard, we can see that the WAN to access mode already changed to wireless 2.4 gigahertz. Now let's navigate to the WAN tab, Internet Access page to configure the wireless WAN. 
click on the enable and select obtain an IP address automatically, which is the DHCP mode, and then press the AP discovery or button. On the access point discovery page, click on scan to let out the scan for the available hotspot. The scanning list will show you the available Wi-Fi hotspot and its detailed information. Select the preferred SSID and add to universal repeater. The selected AP will be added into universal repeater settings as shown on this page, and then type the password for this SSID, then press OK. On the online status, physical connection. We can see that the WAN2 already connected the web to the AP and, uh, and get the IP address, which is 192.168.x. Now let's try the internet connection with browser on PC connected to the LAN port. And we can see the internet is ready. And additional information, uh, while the WAN2 connects it to the internet via wireless, the clients on the LAN network can still connect to the router via wireless, which means the wireless WAN does not disable the Wi-Fi on the LAN side.